Well, these mountains have a special emotional attachment to me and they are photogenic and most people enjoy coming up and finding their little perspectives and holding on on views and zooming in on crags and major features that really catch their eye. And I've done that for years, but my f always my first love and what really drew me into hill walking in its entirety was a love of pen and ink drawing. These wild landscapes, you could portray them in black and white. And I loved the techniques of the various artists that influenced me through my formative years. People like Frederick Griggs and Robin Tanner and latterly Alfred Wainwright. But more recently, in getting the opportunity to explore the fells enabled me to translate that into my lovely line drawings. I love sensing the contours of a hill, sensing the crags and the scree and the way it all flows. And the, when you look at a mountain like we've got behind us, uh, I've recently done a drawing of Dow Crag, Espatrus, with the pen, with Little Narrow Cove, rising steeply up uh, onto the crown of Scorfell Pike. And it's only when you spend hours, and I do spend eight or so hours doing a drawing. I don't do it con solid eight hours. I have to spread it out because it's very... Uh, time consuming, it's very absorbing and very hard work because I have to be very careful. I, I'm not a, a natural s artist like who just flows with a brush. I work very meticulously with the pen and sense the detail. And, and it's, a, it's always a challenge, but it's a wonderful thrill to both um, go through the process of doing it. And then at the end, I, I sense I've got something that will last for years in itself. It's as durable as the mountain. And it's something I could share with other lo mountain lovers. Uh, and I think that's a, a lovely little worthy cause in itself. <laughs>